Well, welcome back. So, I haven't been playing much with Dakota Pro at all, I haven't had much time, but I have worked out that uh, you can throw the turnouts from here, and uh, if you go to actions, this is where you load up your, your throttle. You can also load up a turnout control, and it's asking for the number and I've already programmed the turnouts as 201 and 202 so I can just say 201 and you can throw it or close it so I'll close and it has a little feedback thing saying that it is now closed and I can throw it and the feedback is saying it's thrown you can also just open up another turnout control And I can punch in 202 and this second one. And I can throw that one and close it back and forth. Now this is probably not the best way to be controlling your turnouts. And I'm hoping I can work out how to um, set up some sort of macro. Where I can send one command and it will uh, throw many turnouts all in one hit. So... I'll just have a look at that and see how we go. Okay, so I couldn't find anything on Dakota Pro 3 about uh, doing macros. It's actually called routing on this program. I've got Panel Pro open now. So I'm going to go to Tools, Tables, and choose Routes. Now, Pretty sure you got to pre-load in all your turnouts and sensors and lights. And if you've got signal heads or masks, this is all going to be programmed before. So we'll try to enter enter a turnout, which I'm not sure how to do. And I shall get back to it in one minute. Okay, so you fire up Panel Pro, you go to Tools, Table, and fire up a Turnout Table, which we have here. And then you select the Turnout thing, and then I'll hit the Add button. And it's asking for the address, so it'll be 201. And username. Uh, not sure what to put there, so I'll just put something. I'll go OK. Now I want to add the second turnout, so that will be 202 add. I can't have the same username. OK, so what I'm going to do is call the first one, or the second one I'll call uh, switch to. Oops. So I need to delete that one. And I'll call the first one switch one. So it's got switch one, switch two, and it's got a little NT in front of it. NT201, that's actually just something JMI does. It's still called 201 on, and, no, it's in 202. And, alright, so, let me just play around a little bit more and see if we can work this out. Okay, so I've entered both the switches, and then there's a little push buttons here, so if I just push them, it will open, throw and close both the switches. And there's buttons here on the side for inverted, I guess if there's... If they're not showing the correct direction, you can invert the, the thing, and you can also, it seems like you can lock the switch in position as well. Uh, there's a lot more of selections here. If you if you had a full light set up with sensors and stuff, you could, you could do some interesting things here, I think. Now, now that they're both programmed in, I now have to set up the route, which I shall go down the list here, select route 
I'm going to add, I'm going to call the route system name um, route one, I guess. Route one. Asking for the route username. Let's just call that one the right one as well. Now, it's showing here that the switches that I've already put in, and if I had a series of sensors and lights, they'd probably all be here as well. So in, I want to include it, so I'm going to click the boxes for include and play sound file when it's ready. Don't worry about that. Now, oh, I see. So when I s select this route one, I want switch one to be closed, and I want switch two to be closed. And there's a whole bunch of other things, uh, questions here. But I'm sure you can come back and edit them later, though. So we'll just update that route. Now I wonder how you actually activate the route. Not sure. Let me let me get back to that. All right, so you set up the route like we I just showed you, and you give it a name. Then each of the, the switches or the turnouts when you control, you set the state on what the route wants to be. And I'll simply just then update that shut that down it's asking me to remember to save okay and there's the route there now set so if I go to the turnouts and I'll throw them both go to routes and to set route 1 I just hit set and it has thrown uh, has closed I should say both of the turnouts and uh, so it works pretty well and let's see what else it can do alright so to conclude you could you could have the JMI, oh, sorry the Panel Pro running you have a throttle open controlling your train and then you could have your route window open up here and you could have a whole series of routes and you could just keep setting different routes as you go around now this is all this is all very manual and uh, a manual sort of system where you have to set everything and push all the buttons as the train goes around so I'm hoping to explore a little bit further into this program see if I can get some sort of automation where I can actually tell the train to to go forward, take a certain route, and then to stop. And I don't know if this program has that capabilities or not, but uh, we'll soon find out.